rip a couple of rails off your iPhone. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I haven't even spoken yet today, so. <laughs> So many women have stopped shaving. It's like a thing now. How do guys feel about this, honestly? Ooh. I'm always a tad uncomfortable answering questions about women's bodies. Having said that, I think it's a personal preference. For me, it's a non-issue. As long as your asshole doesn't look like a team of tarantulas on a religious retreat, I'm easy breezy. I recently went on a date with a woman and afterwards we ended up back at her place. I had to use the bathroom very badly and I was so embarrassed that I left immediately afterwards. It's been three days, should I call her? <laughs> no, you can't call her. You, you can't. You broke the cardinal rule, you're done. Everyone knows you fake an important phone call and then run to Wendy's. <laughs> you can't pinch a brick upon arrival and then be like, what's up? Are you fucking insane? Actually, you know what? I take all of that back. You should text her and ask her if she's down for date number two, then get back to me. How can I deepen communication in my friendships? What? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know. Fucking ayahuasca? I if you and your partner are binge watching a show together, are you allowed to watch the next episode without them or is that considered cheating? I think actual cheating, missionary only, no butt stuff, is actually less destructive to a relationship. What is the exact amount of complaining a person can do on a first date? That depends. If it's something that's happening in real time, like, oh, this restaurant smells like Bigfoot's dick, or our server keeps showing us pictures of her baby, then that's a mutually agreed upon gripe that you both can have an exchange with. But anything that happens outside of that, outside of what's actually going on, just makes you look like kind of a drip. Save it. You'll have plenty of time to annoy each other with personal personal gripes as the relationship progresses. What's the best movie ever made? Ooh. Easy, I'd have to say the 1987 classic Disorderlies starring the fat boys. Sure, some film nerd's gonna probably try to convince you it's Casablanca or some bullshit, but tell that fucking virgin to cram it. How do I stop dating married men? Fuck if I know, I'm not attracted to married men. Should my husband and I have a gender reveal party? Absolutely, everybody's waiting with bated breath to see what type of baby you're having. Songs will be written, statues will be sculpted. Chew up everyone's fucking weekend with your dumb bullshit that you could easily just let everyone know via text, you fucking animals. Should a man tuck in his shirt? Certain occasions call for a tucked in shirt. If you're wearing a suit, absolutely. Or if you're wearing an oversized Looney Tunes t-shirt and denim shorts, just go ahead and stuff that puppy under your braided belt. March up there, order that funnel cake like the snazzy ass boss you are. Next question, how do I beat the heat in the summertime? Beating the heat in the summertime. This is actually a very easy fix. I've got you covered here. Here's what I like to do. I like to crank my AC as high as it can possibly go. Then I put a box fan at the edge of my bed. I like to crank that thing full tits boogie. Then I strip down completely naked, lay in my bed, spread eagle while sipping a Slurpee. I like to call it airing out my grievances. Testosterone for men over 40. My friend is interested, I'm a little leery. What are your thoughts? Absolutely, but if you're gonna take testosterone, don't be a pussy about it. I say you crush it up and snort it off a dumbbell during peak hours at the gym. Rip a couple of rails off your iPhone screen while you're watching UFC highlights on Facebook. Honestly, I have no idea. You should probably consult your doctor or listen to a Joe Rogan podcast. Well, that's it, everybody. That's been this episode of Mic Drop. I hope it helped you out in some small way. For the newest column, you can always look in the back of Rooster Magazine, which you can find everywhere. For questions you would like to submit, please throw them down below. If you want to know what's going on with my tour dates, you can always find me on Facebook or you can add me on Twitter at a werewolf down below. There's the link. Boom. How about that? That's the handle. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.